I'm Tom from TC Helicon. This is Tora from TC Electronic. Today we're both playing through the uh, Voice Live Play GTX, which is a sort of cooperative effort between TC Electronic and us. Tora helped us make the guitar sounds, and today we're going to show you um, some examples of the guitar sounds. Of course, it's a vocal processor, but we're going to focus today on just the guitar part of it. You can say something now. Okay. Right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tora. He said hi. <laughs> So what were you after uh, when you built that one? Well, I think I wanted something that's just a hint of drive, not crazy distortion or something right. like that. So kind of like if you have a small combo and you just crank it up all the way, so you get that kind I of sag, where it's like you can hear the you can hear the uh, the transformers kind of pushing, so yep. you get a bit of compression, which yep. is built into this preset as well. Wow, I didn't know you could play like that. <laughs> I didn't either. I thought you were a metal guy. What's up with I that? I am. That's very nice. Um, so what did you put in that sound? Well, First of all, that's that's actually a Coldplay preset. It is, but um, what I was really looking for is some kind of nice clean sound. And you know, Coldplay is yeah. like known for having really nice, pretty, pristine, clean sounds. Chorusy kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, but you can use it for any kind of stuff that's just well, super clean. Yeah. But um, how about you? I was using um, preset number 19, Hold On Corn. So this is... Uh, a band I'm not familiar with. Uh, somebody else made the vocal side of it, but I really enjoy uh, what you did with the, gu the uh, guitar sound. Mm. Yeah, corn is kind of, that's, that's where I come from. That's the metal stuff. So oh, yeah, say. baby. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Well, you surprised me again. Well, I was kind of faking it there. I got it. Oh, you I'm were? not a country player by any means. I was uh, convinced. That was well, very good. But the sound is there, though. Definitely. So, so what do we got on this one? Well, this is kind of a super clean sound again, but much right. brighter. So imagine like a big Fender twin kind of. Oh, I speak in the ears thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Bye -bye. Uh, and you know, you get that sound even with the humbucker. That would be way better with the telly, of course. But oh yeah. But you get that kind of sound. Yep. With a bit of reverb and a bit of slap bag as well, okay. just to get that kind of classic country sound. And most importantly, not to forget, lots of compression. Yes. To make all the notes stand out. Pow, and get it. pow. Yeah, it's almost like a pedal steel kind of sound, really, right? Yep, it's yep. Just a yep. Bow, bow, bow. Love it. And I love the way you played that. And I was yeah. playing on the same one as well, so which works really, w really well for that kind of uh, Merle Travis kind of pickup. Yeah. yeah. Wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, you were saying before that you can actually, you don't have to play country nope. just because the no, preset's no. got Johnny Cash's so name in it. I, back from when I was a kid, I'm a, I was a big uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, and oh, yeah. John Frusciante yeah. uses a lot of compression on his stuff. And actually, I should play that on the strap, but I'll just kind of do it on the telly, uh, on the Les Paul anyway, yeah. just to get an idea of it. So this is kind of like the same sound that he'd use on something like this. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, that kind of sound again. It's kind of lo-fi, but in a cool, cool way. Yeah, very good. Moving on. I'm not even going to try and solo over that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Well, it's just uh, six semi tones right next to each other. <laughs> oh, it's classic Pantera, uh, my the, favorite band. Yeah, best so. I can do. But one of the hard things I find when getting a really nice, you know, metal rhythm sound yeah. is having that kind of openness and aggressiveness that you want. But also when you play open chords like I did in the beginning, that it just goes rah, and then when you start muting it, <laughs> it has to go. <laughs> right. It has to shut down really fast, which it does. So you can kind of hear. It's gonna be really tight. So you can <laughs> Yeah. 
So Tora, show us how you built uh, some of your styles. Yeah, cool. I mean, first thing, it's the nice thing is just super simple to do. It's really easy. So Good. Yeah. Even I could figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and yeah, it's super easy. So you know, maybe it's best just to do like an example. So I have okay. the uh, I have the distorted setting I used for the metal stuff before. Yep. And I just want to turn it into like an aggressive lead kind of tone. So yeah, because that wasn't really aggressive enough. <laughs> you can never get too aggressive. <laughs> okay. That's how it is. Arr. Yeah. No, I want to. You know, I want to have the basic distortion sound the same. I just want to add a little bit of delay just to kind of open it up a bit. Okay. So show us how you made it. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, it's super easy, and I'll just uh, I'll go through it real quickly. So you press the effects button, and yep. now I'm on the amp page, so I can determine what amp I use okay. and the drive, and mm -hmm. I'm happy with what I have here. So I'll just press and hold the effects button to go one layer deeper. And I'll add some uh, delay feedback here. Just turn that up to maybe 20 and see what happens. Okay. And then I'll go to the uh, to the delay page here, and I'll just have delay quarter notes already, and that's fine. Okay. So I'll just press here, and I'll add some delay. So let's see around here. Well, should be good. And then let's hear. Oh yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Can so you can you take it like wilder? Oh yeah, sure. Easier? I mean, we can add maybe some um, maybe some flange to that or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, that'd be good. So I'll just press this button up here yep. for all the modulation effects. Okay. And I'll turn it up and find the flange. There it is. There it is. Okay. So here, and I'll just crank it up. Like yes, this. I can already hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear it working. That's awesome. Well, thanks a lot for showing us how to do that, and thank you for jamming. So let's uh, let's jam out on some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So we wanted to show you one more thing, of course, uh, the looping function in Voice Live Play GTX. So Tora is going to play this wonderful thing, and uh, this should be fun. It should. I'll just put mine into looping mode. So what what sound have you got? First uh, of all, really nice, uh, clean sound with a bit of uh, modulation and some delay, reverb. Wow, two thirty-two. Yeah. For you folks playing along at home, that's number two thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs>